Imagine you're standing in the middle of a thick jungle. You can hear birds calling from high in the trees. The leaves rustle as a monkey swings past you. A giant waterfall crashes nearby, sending cool mist into the air. You look down and see your feet standing on mossy rocks. You reach out to touch a colorful butterfly, then click. You take off your headset. You're not really in the jungle. You're in your living room. You are using something called virtual reality, or VR. VR is a special kind of technology that makes you feel like you're in a different place. When you wear a VR headset, the screen shows pictures that move when you move your head. The world you see is made by a computer, but it feels real. VR is different from other types of reality technology. There's also augmented reality, or AR, also called mixed reality. That's when you can see the real world, but with computer images added to it. For example, if you look through a phone or tablet, you might see a cartoon character sitting on your couch. Glasses that show the time or other images on them are an example augmented reality because you can both see the real world overlaid with some virtual images. Some of the newer VR sets include mixed reality because you can see the real world through a camera on the headset. The story of VR started long ago. In the 1950s, a man named Morton Heilig had a dream. He wanted to make movies feel so real that people would feel like they were inside them. In 1962, he built a big machine called the Sensorama. It looked like an arcade game you sit in. It showed short films, but it also blew wind in your face and even let you smell things. People could ride a motorcycle through New York City or fly over the ocean without leaving their seat. In 1968, a smart man named Ivan Sutherland made something very important. He built the first VR headset. It showed simple 3D shapes that moved when you moved your head. It was so big and heavy it had to hang from the ceiling, but it showed people what VR could do. This invention helped others imagine what might come next. In the 1980s, a man named Jaron Lanier started a company called VPL Research. His company made early VR headsets and gloves. The gloves let people use their hands inside the virtual world. This was very exciting, and people began to think VR could be used for more than just fun. Scientists, doctors, and teachers became interested. Then in the 1990s, a famous video game company named Nintendo made something called the Virtual Boy. It was a red and black VR headset for games, but it didn't work very well. The screen hurt people's eyes, and it wasn't very fun. Still, it showed that people wanted to bring VR into their homes, especially for games. In 2012, a young man named Palmer Lucky built a new VR headset in his garage. He called it the Oculus Rift. It had better graphics and didn't make people feel dizzy. People were very excited to try it. In 2014, the big tech company Facebook bought Oculus. They believed VR was going to be a big part of the future. In 2019, Facebook, which later changed its name to Meta, released the Oculus Quest. This was a big change. The Quest didn't need any wires or a big computer. You could just put it on and start playing. It had cameras to track your hands in your room so you could walk around and move naturally. It made VR fun and easy for everyone and was less expensive than most of the other headsets for sale. In 2020, Meta made the Quest 2, and in 2023, the Quest 3. Each one had better graphics and more features. The Quest 3 added mixed reality so you could see your real room and play with virtual objects at the same time. You could see your living room, but also build a castle in the middle of it. Other companies started building VR too. Sony made PlayStation VR for its game console. A company called HTC made the Vive, which was used by both gamers and businesses. In 2023, Apple introduced the Apple Vision Pro, a powerful headset that could do both VR and MR. It let people watch movies, open apps, and even work in a 3D space. One of the biggest uses of VR is gaming. In VR games, you don't just press buttons, you move your whole body. You might swing a sword, fly a spaceship, or climb a mountain. You can play music games where you hit flying blocks to the beat, or sports games where you throw a football to score a touchdown. Some games are just for fun, but others teach skills like problem solving, memory, or even learning to code. 
But VR isn't just for playing, it's also used in many real-world jobs. Doctors use VR to practice surgeries before they work on real patients. They can see the body in 3D and learn what to do step by step. This helps them get better without making mistakes on real people. Pilots use VR to practice flying airplanes. They sit in a seat and use controls like in a real plane, but they're inside a virtual sky. This way they can learn to fly safely even before getting into a real jet. Engineers and architects use VR to design buildings. They can walk around inside their designs and see what needs to be changed. It helps them fix problems early before anything is built. Teachers use VR to take students on trips. Kids can visit ancient Egypt, dive under the sea, or explore the solar system all in the classroom. Learning becomes exciting when you can see and feel what you're learning about. Artists use VR to paint and sculpt in 3D. They can create huge artworks in the air all around them. Some people even make movies inside VR worlds. Even factories and companies use VR. Workers can learn how to fix machines, build cars, or work in dangerous places without any real danger. It's a safe way to train. Meta, the company behind the Quest, wants to build something big called the Metaverse. This is their idea of a huge virtual world where people can meet, work, play, and explore. It's still being built, but Meta is spending a lot of time and money trying to make it happen. Today, VR is everywhere. You can play games, learn new things, or even talk to people around the world. The technology keeps getting better. The headsets are getting lighter, the pictures are getting sharper. Now, with a headset and your imagination, you can go anywhere. The jungle, the moon, the past, or the future. The world of VR is still growing, and maybe one day, you'll help build it too. too.